some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is not about a frauditor or a sovereign citizen. It is about this douchebag who goes by the moniker Jacob Yerkes. This absolute waste of human breath has decided to stalk and threaten a woman who had absolutely no interest in him whatsoever. How sad. Yes, sir. Uh, I just made a call and... Okay, so I was gonna go to Cracker Barrel. There's a girl there. I just want to record the inc incident so I have it on file and can track everything. But anyways, uh, I went to Cracker Barrel and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got there and she saw me and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything. You know, mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her. You know, give her her own choice. Yeah. If she wanted to be with me, you know? Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. I take it not many women even talk to you. All right, douchebag, there's a valuable lesson in here. Just because a member of the opposite sex talks to you doesn't mean they're interested in you. But anyways... I pulled up there, and I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. I don't know, but from the way it sounds, she didn't want to have anything to do with you. That should be your first clue. Are you chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they're, when they're obviously going to want to... Well, I had my talk. song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um, well, anyways, her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on what, file. What did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me, like, but he, he's like cussing at me. he said that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A little no, bit of excitement. No, no. Women well, don't like to be chased. What about like If I was a father, porn. I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn, where women like to be, have rape fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? Most women do like having rape fantasies. That should have been your next clue, genius. The very fact that she went to her father, which her father is going to be protecting her like any parent would. And the very fact that he did his job of protecting his family by threatening you should have been another clue. Boy, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? Okay, do you think she does? I don't know. But Apparently she don't. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do to me. And building upon how sharp you are, you went to the police to report the threat after you had stalked his daughter. That's not too sharp. I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. The fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing. is She needs to have her own free will, man. You do listen, not understand. Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I need listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's it is the job of every father to protect and guide their children. Now, I've never been a father yet, but I will certainly follow the example of my own father who was a single parent after my mother died when I was 12 and my sister was 10 years old. 
even after my sister reached adulthood and was able to make her own choices, and she decided to get together with a much older man. My father did try to prevent it and protect her. He begrudgingly accepted them to getting together, but a few years later, her boyfriend died of a heart attack and left her as a single mother. It's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will? I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. You want her to do porn? Why would you want to do that? And besides, that would be her choice, not yours. Thankfully, you got arrested, and that'll be a report I show at the end of the video. But people, watch out for this guy. Well, we're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on. I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you if you so if done. you if you do that on public property, I'll. You know, I'll leave you're, under... You're free, you're free to do whatever you want to right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave her alone. You're not going to well, get... What's, what's her name? I will go speak with her, and then uh, we will go... H-O-L... Yes, like Sherlock Holmes. And what's your name? Jacob. J Jacob. Yerkes. Y-E-R-K-E-S. Y-E-R-K-E-S. Jacob. Yerkes, Y E R K E S. Jacob, Y E R K E S. Here's the thing. My advice, my advice to you is leave her alone because your father, the father's not happy, and things can happen, unfortunately. I think she's been controlled all her life, though. Well, she may be, but that's her choice. Free will, right? What you said, free will. Yeah, kind of, I guess. I mean, well, I mean, does she not have free will to to be controlled by her father if she wishes? Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. It sure as hell doesn't sound like you're going to give her a choice at all. That's the way it sounds to me. Dad, I hope you see this fucking video. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. And that implied threat is the proverbial final nail in the coffin when it comes to this dude and his attitude. I don't know. Something, um, the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has her right now and her father is controlling the bullshit from what other creators have said it may be that she is a lesbian in which case that's none of your damn concern dude and just another reason why she rejected any of your advances and if she were straight, she would still reject you, based on the fact of how creepy your advances were to begin with. I just don't see it. I'm older than her fucking father. Wait a second, wait a second. How are you older than her father? I mean, you look like you're in your late 20s, early 30s. So, uh, how old is the daughter? Is she, like, 10? I mean, it, this is the only way I can see her... Father being younger than you, if that were the case, you seriously need to be put away. That's how I feel right now. I've lived this life. I've been the greatest. I've been down and I've been about. I don't know where this is going, but um, fucking snakes, man. She was gonna lure me into a trap whenever I was gonna go. You know, play a song for her. It's just how it is. But, uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that my dudes, you know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like, uh, yeah, there's not faith in me. Wow. That's just plain disturbing right there. 
all these justifications, all this rhetoric, it's all utter garbage. Plain old sick garbage. And I'm glad they caught him. So let's watch the news report on this this weirdo. With a Loudoun County man who made national news after his videos on social media went viral. Jacob Yerkes was arrested on stalking and harassment charges after a joint investigation by the Sheriff's Office and the Lenore City Police Department. The post made by Yerkes online garnered national attention and nearly 6 million views on Twitter. Public interest led to the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Joint Terrorism Task Force actually got involved in the case. Six of your sides, Paige Weeks, joins us now in the studio with the threats that were made and why the concern continued to grow. Paige. Well, guys, according to police, the victim of this case has dealt with Yerkes' unwanted advances since mid-June. Since then, records show Yerkes continued to contact the victim any way he could, be it through social media, texts, and most recently by showing up at her work and following her in his car. Records show Lenore City Police first encountered Jacob Yerkes when he appeared at the Lenore City Municipal Office, claiming to have been threatened by a woman's father after trying to impress her at work. He went on to say that he uh, was just trying to let her listen to a song that he had written for her and that he did follow her. That's when everything turned. He made several comments that were very odd to the, to the sergeant and the patrol officer that was speaking with him and said uh, some things like... Uh, women like to be or fantasize about being uh, stalked. Videos, including some found on social media, uploaded by Yerkes himself, show him saying women enjoy being chased and have fantasies of being raped. Those videos have also sparked increased concern, so much so several agencies, including the FBI, are now involved. We would be able to elevate the charge from just a stalking and harassment charge to harassment and uh, an aggravated uh, stalking. With the charges set, law enforcement set out to find Yerkes. They did so at a local hotel. Once in custody, police say the alarming rhetoric didn't stop. He did say uh, some more bizarre things that give us concern. As the case against Yerkes continues, members of law enforcement are also working to get his social media videos taken down. Chief White also says there may be more victims out there. If that is you, you are urged to contact the Lenore City Police Department. Don and Bo. All right, Paige, thank you very much. We're going to continue following this story as it develops, as it moves along. And if you or someone you know has faced or is facing a similar situation, you are encouraged by law enforcement to reach out and ask for help and contact law enforcement immediately. Now, we also caught up with Greg Isaacs, our six on your side legal analyst, about this case and how stalking and harassment is prosecuted here in Tennessee. So basically, you know, two things. Uh, the conduct has to be repeated uh, and you have to uh, intentionally threaten and harass uh, or communicate with the intent uh, to frighten somebody. Again, tonight, that investigation is still ongoing, and the Sheriff's Department says more charges are possible against Yerkes. We'll keep you posted. A while back, I was talking to my dad, and I said, everybody in life sets an example for something that you should or should not do in your life. And at that time, I was making a reference toward an individual I know who is a prime example of what not to be. And in this very case right here, this guy is an example of what not to be. 